Hello, my name is Ziad Rajabi, and today I'm going to show you how to programmatically embed an OpenXML file into another OpenXML file. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to embed an Excel spreadsheet into a Word document. So for the sake of this demo, let's say I have a Word document that just contains some text and a content control named embed object. This content control is going to mark the region where I'm going to insert my Excel spreadsheet. So let's go take a look at the Excel spreadsheet I want to embed. I just named it embed. And it's just a simple spreadsheet with some text, some numbers, and uh, one sheet of values. So what I want to do is I want to embed this spreadsheet into my Word document. So how do you do this? Well, by leveraging the OpenXML file formats and the OpenXML SDK, you can do this pretty easily. So to show you what I mean, let's go ahead and leverage a technology that comes with the SDK called the document reflector. So to do this, what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert this object from my from my uh, computer. Now let's go ahead and go find that particular file. It's called embed. So we'll go ahead and embed the file. We'll save the document out. Say it's an embedded file. We will go ahead and save the document called doc1. And now what we'll do is we'll go and leverage the tool called Document Reflector that ships free with the SDK and open that particular file up in the Doc Reflector. The cool thing with the Doc Reflector is that it will automatically generate the code necessary to create this document. And because we want to know how to embed the object, this Doc Reflector tool will be a great asset for us to learn how to actually do this. So what I'm really interested in is if you go to the main document part, there's going to be a particular paragraph, and here is the XML up there, that's going to contain my object. And here's the object, and here's the XML up there of the object. And you'll notice the object has a little bit of data. It has data that represents what the object is. It has a reference to the image, right here, through the image data. And it has reference to the actual Olay object. And you'll see that it is an Excel spreadsheet with a prog ID excel.sheet.12. And it has a particular uh, ID referencing the object embedded. So what I'm really interested in here is the actual code generated for this particular paragraph because I'm going to reuse this in my solution. And here below is the code. So what I have here, let's go open up the solution, is first thing you'll notice is that I have a solution here that's going to leverage the document format .openxml. Uh, DLL, which is the SDK for the OpenXML file format. And what this is going to allow me to do is going to allow me to open up that Word document that I showed you. It's going to allow me to get the main document part. And what I need to do is I'm going to need to add two parts to my document per embedded object. So the first part is going to be an image representing, representing the actual embedded object itself. So in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to create an image part and then I'm going to feed it the data of a placeholder image. So the placeholder image I'm going to use is just a simple image that just says double click me to refresh the data. All right. The next part that you need to add is an embedded package part. The big advantage of using and embedding OpenXML files into other OpenXML files is you can use the embedded package part class. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to embed the OpenXML file as is into the package as an OLA object, which makes it really easy to deal with. So in this particular case, I'm going to use the content type of our Excel spreadsheet, which is the spreadsheet dot spreadsheetml.sheet, embed the actual embed XML file uh, XLSX file. And at that point I have the two parts into my file. The next thing I need to do is create the paragraph that's going to actually reference this object. And as you can see below, is I just pulled this from the doc reflector. Everything here is pulled exactly from the doc reflector, except for the two parts that I need to add the reference IDs to them, right? The two reference IDs for the image ID and the embed ID. So the image ID I have right here, and the embed ID is I'll also include down right here. And what that will do is it'll allow me to make this paragraph specific to the object that I, that I just created and embedded in my uh, Word document. So once I have that paragraph done, the next thing I need to do is go find that content control in my Word document and then swap out the content control for this new paragraph. And the next few lines actually does this. So this line right here finds the content control whose name is embed object, 
Once I find it, I'm going to go and swap that content control for that particular paragraph and then save the document. So let's go ahead and run this, do this solution. And you'll notice that it ran very, very fast. I will then go ahead to my output folder here and look at my output doc. So here's this text that I had before. Here is the embedded object. As you can see, double click to edit Microsoft Office Excel worksheet. So when I double click it, I'll have direct access to the sheet of data that I had showed you before. And just like that, I've embedded my Excel spreadsheet within a Word document. And hopefully this is, makes it a lot more clear that the OpenXML SDK makes this solution a lot easier to do. Thank you.